Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we're going to discuss your lesson about the parts and functions of the male reproductive system. For our most essential learning competency, describe the parts of the male reproductive system and their functions. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. Have you ever wondered how human beings differ from one another in terms of body structure? Yes, you're correct. The reproductive organs in your body makes a male and female differ from one another. The other organs such as your bones, muscles, skin, and other organs, both male and female have it. Number 1. What are the parts of the male reproductive system? Number 2. What are the functions of each part? And number 3. What are the ways on how to take care of it? This is the male reproductive system. This is located in the middle part of the lower abdomen of a male human body. The different parts of the male reproductive system are penis, scrotum, epididymis, urethra, seminal vesicle, vas deferens, cowper's gland, and prostate gland. The penis and scrotum are visible externally, while epididymis, urethra, seminal vesicle, vas deferens, cowper's gland, and prostate gland are located inside the body. Canis. It is the external male organ with a tip called glands. Glands is the foreskin that may be removed through circumcision. Scrotum. It is a pair of pouch-like sacs that contains testes. It also controls the testes temperature because they must be cooler than the body to produce a sperm cell. Testes, singular form, testis. It is a gland that produces the sperm cells and the male sex hormone called testosterone. Sperm cells is the male reproductive cells, while testosterone is responsible for male secondary characteristics such as deepening of voice and development of pubic hair in the private area. This is the picture of sperm cells under the microscope, and this is its basic parts. Epididymis. It is a narrow coil tube that stores the sperm cells. Urethra. It is the passageway of both urine from urinary bladder and semen from the glands. Urine is the waste material collected by the urinary system, while the semen is the whitish fluid that carries the sperm cell. Seminal vesicles. It is a sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It contributes to the semen production. Semen is a sugary-rich fluid which provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. Vas deferens. It is a long muscular tube that serves the passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes. It also connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. Cowper's gland, also called as bulburetral gland, it is a two-piece size organ found beneath the prostate gland. It is responsible for releasing fluid that flushes out foreign matter and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. For this illustration, the Cowper's gland is not visible since it is found beneath the prostate gland. Prostate gland. It is located between the bladder and the penis. It produces fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm cell. 
ways on how to take care of the male reproductive system. Take a bath every day. Wash your external reproductive organ or genitals. Number two, change your underwear every day or as needed. Number three, wash your underwear with clean water and mild laundry detergent soap. And number four, if you experience pain in your reproductive organ, seek medical advice immediately. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!